confused about what's happening right now, this is our latest segment. We like to call it Tebow, Tebow Talk. Talk. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the fans. We love Tim Tebow here, so we dedicated a special segment just to Tim Tebow. To show Rightfully. <laughs> I mean, he deserves Rightfully it. So. Unlike what all the football people think on ESPN, you know, like Merrill Hodge, all those ESPN analysts. Anyways, we think he's the best, and we think he deserves all the credit. So we'd like your opinion. What do you think about Tebow Talk? Should we keep this segment? You can let us know after the video at Bay Talk on Twitter. Yeah, at Bay Talk 415. Yeah, on Twitter. What he said. Um, so, uh, Tim Tebow. Um, the as long, as long, his most recent game, which, uh, barring this any setbacks, this is last week's game, not tomorrow's game, if that's going to make any sense. It's confusing. It's very. But um, he went 10 for 14, threw over, for, very threw over 200 efficient. yards. Uh, I watched the game. It was on television. Did you watch it? I was in Oh, you were at work. Um, I work. Yeah. Well, we got a working man. You got to support <laughs> us. <laughs> but um, but he looked good too. It wasn't like you saw bad throws. I saw really good throws. Based on the box score that I saw, I mean, usually he throws like at least ten and, more yeah. passes and don't and, get. And completed. the best part was is like he, to finish the game, he wasn't even doing those sixty yard runs. He was actually throwing it to complete in the last two minute drive. It was sweet. He was commanding the game like a true, true. Does John Fox, the head coach, deserve all the credit, or does Tim Tebow? I, I like Tebow. I mean, nothing's changed with John Fox. He was, I mean, Kyle Orton, he didn't play him right, and he didn't play Tebow right to start. It was all Tim Tebow at the start, coming back with the yeah. last two minutes. The way I look at it is, John Fox was head coach when the Denver Broncos were 1-4, and four, and he's still the head coach. So, he's been, it's kind of like it wasn't his fault, or it's not, he was not uh, responsible for the, the winning streak they're on right now, it's more like Tim Tebow is because once he got in the starting position, they've gone 6-1. and one. So, yeah. And we've seen an amazing comeback. The game they every... lost was one of his first games where t- Coach Fox wasn't playing him right. Yes. Yeah. And, he, I mean, he does have some help with, you know, Willis McGahee having an outstanding year and the defense, you know, defense. with Vaughn Miller. Yeah. Good pick. Good pick in the draft. Yeah. So next up, Let's move on to our fan questions. Fan questions. We got three questions, and we're going to put them all in this video. All right. Let's Bring start it. with one of our loyal tweeter fans, Mr. Mr. Matt Burt. <laughs> tweeter fans. <laughs> you okay. can follow him at, at Matthew Burt. Matthew Burt, he has slash. a blog. I read it. Pretty nice blog. Thanks for uh, giving us a question. Um, he gave us two, actually. We'll ask his first one. Will Frank Gore make it over 100 yards on Sunday? I'll ask you, Sam. I honestly hope he doesn't, just for the fact that he rests a little bit. I mean, he just broke the rec- all-time record for leading rusher yeah. in the Niners. I mean, I like to see him ru- uh, rest, you know, and he's a little banged up. Uh, yeah, I've got no problem with um, Kendall Hunter. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a pretty good backup. You so. let Frank Gore just half and half almost. Yeah, I mean, he, you can work him in the game, but, you know, it's at this point it's just let the old man rest. Yes or no, so over 100. Oh, I forgot about that answer. <laughs> Just pick. Doesn't matter. No, 80 yards. No. He um he has a good yard per carry, but he splits it with Kendall Hunter. I would say no, 80 yards. Oh, all right. Next question. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> also from Matthew Burt. Matthew Burt. Um, are you guys disappointed in the SF Giants winter meetings approach? I'll ask you that one, Sam. Um, I'm not disappointed because I didn't expect much. Because I knew that... Brian Sabian was given a pretty low budget to spend, uh, and I know that he was focused more on locking up Matt Cain and Lincecum, and there's just not enough room yeah. for big name free agents. <laughs> I guess the Angels have enough room to have, that's, but um, yeah, it's uh, I do expect him to re-sign Lincecum or Kane. Like that's a must. If you don't do that, then it's a huge disappointment. If you do that, then it's all right. I'm fine with it. That's like losing Pujols. <laughs> yeah, like I mean the Cardinals. I mean they're devastated. But. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, we can't. I don't even want to think like that. So uh, we're not going to go there. <laughs> we're, it's too early to say. We'll get back to you after the winning. But winning I, I'm not disappointed also because I think they had a good signing in Angel Pagan, 
and uh, Melky Cabrera, and I think that's good enough right now. Yes. <laughs> so, um, another question from one of our uh, loyal fans. Let's see if I can get through this one without chuckling. This one's from Mr. Bryce Harling out of All Santa right. Cruz. Bryce. Question for the Bay Talk. Okay. What is your opinion on people listing themselves as married on Facebook when they aren't married? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with that? Am I right? It's like I'm browsing my news feed and I see someone going from married to single. I can't get all concerned and empathetic. <laughs> then I look who it was and I'm like, oh, does this overshadow the underlying problem of casual divorce in our beautiful country? Thanks, Bryce. He hit a deep topic. We're here to answer Oh my it. god. That Bam! Deep, deep, insightful question. That was one of the deepest things I've ever heard. Yes, as, as annoying as it is to log on Facebook, I mean, it's one of the few annoying things, I mean, one of the many annoying things of Facebook that I find, at least, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be very popular with, like, teenage girls. Oh, let's, oh, let's <laughs> marry our best friends or my, my BFFs. It's, it's, uh, it is a very annoying thing, and it's kind of, it kind of does catch you off guard when you see, uh, well, yeah. so-and-so went from married to single. It's like, oh my god. It's really? got to the point where my feelings have so been blackened by it. I mean, this is a very touchy subject. Married yeah. and single. Nobody wants to get divorced. <laughs> but um, it's it's like I see it now and like I, I could just care less at this point. Because yeah. I know what it's fake. Um, hey, nothing. This is the fan question. Uh, it is a fan question, but... Fan I question. would have to say... Let's see what is final... Um, does this overshadow the underlying problem of casual divorce in our beautiful country? Yes! Facebook is the reason for casual divorce. You're not out there to get married for a month. Make a quick few bucks and leave. Okay? It really sugarcoats the whole thing and it kind of just, you know, uh, makes it less serious than it should be. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. That is what you're trying to say. <laughs> I play dirt too. I think it's awesome. <laughs> um... Sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. That was recorded too. <laughs> this is a special viewer question from Mr. Cal C. Harling. You might recognize that last name as Bryce's father. Oh. He would like to know about the 2011. Please um, correct me if I'm wrong. I know you're not going to correct me because you don't know either. <laughs> 2011 Dakar Rally. Is that how you say it? Dakar. Dakar. Uh, um, Mr. Cal C. Harling, we don't know much about this and we've tried our hardest in the short amount of time to cover this. We read that Mark Coma from Spain won his third. Uh, third Dakar in the motorcycle category. Well, we have Wikipedia up right now. Uh, um, yeah. We're really both not familiar with Dakar Rally, but... Uh, he, but he, uh, this Mark Coma from Spain won his third one in the motorcycle category. Nice job, Mark Coma. I'll give you the hands down. It was All held right. in Argentina and Chile, and... God, I wish I could talk more about it, but I really just don't know. The, it's not because I don't care, it's because I don't it know. It seems really cool. Like, this seems awesome. I want like, to get into I this. respect you for watching this. Deaths. Ooh, that's a good one. A total of four people were killed in the Dakar-related incidents oh during God. the rally. Um, that's all you need to know. Dangerous. We'll, see you, we'll see you next year, Dakar. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we'll, Dakar. Hopefully we'll watch it next time. 2012. 2012. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch it next time. <laughs> That has been the fan questions of the week. That has been Tebow Talk. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And we'll be back real soon with a video on Niners. Be sure Giants. to watch our next video. Should we end on that? Stay classy, San Francisco.